I'm sorry. The the man was born in Smithtown. He was born in 1983. The Rangers, the Islanders, and the Devils were all in existence during his formative years. And he's a Canadiens fan. Now, I know that's a tribute to Dad. Dad's a Habs fan. Come on. I found my own way. I didn't become an Islanders fan. I found my own way. Does geography really have anything to do with that anymore? Let's be honest. Don't you think, don't you think it should? Well, n- no, because the way the NHL is run now and the way we have the access to follow other teams. I understand before when really the only hockey you could watch is your local team. Now you can watch any team you want. You can follow any team you want on the Internet. You can follow any player you want on the Internet. I, I just don't see fans really loving a team just because they happen to play in their city or around their city but but you're you're a you're a leafs fan no i'm not i mean i'm sorry you're you're a wings fan rather (laughs) nice to meet you greg i I was no no no. i was thinking of the leafs because i was going to ask you the leafs question you you became a red wings fan how two reasons one everyone around me was a leaf fan and and it just drove me nuts i just didn't want to be you know with everybody else and two I, i was just a really big steve eiserman fan so i just became a fan of the red wings Sometimes that'll do it. You hear a lot of times people will say, oh, I, I knew, I know I grew up in this area, but everyone was such a fan around me that it just drove me nuts. All of my friends, family, uncles, dad, brothers, everyone, they were all such Leaf fans that I'm like, I just, ugh, I just can't but, but, stand but to be me, a Leaf but, fan. But, but let me ask you this. Would you have been a Red Wings fan if they were completely shitty when you were a kid? Probably not. I yeah, mean, it all, it all, yeah. but it all I, comes I, I down to when go, you start you to like go, them. Yeah, but if you don't go geographic, then I think it's a certain form of bandwagonism. It's just like every town in in America has Pittsburgh Steelers fans of a certain age because they all grew up during the the Steel Curtain years and and watched that. Same with the Dallas Cowboys. That's why those two fan bases are so massive is because you have this – this breaking down the geographic barriers bandwagonism that occurs. I think it's bandwagonism. But when you're a young kid, when you're a young, fan. when you're a young, oh, don't make, don't get me angry with this one. <laughs> I've gone through some bad times and stuck with my hockey team. The the, the difference is, oh, Greg, when oh, you're a what kid, was the, you don't. What was a bad time? You finished second overall? Uh, let's see. Being eliminated uh, by the 8th seed, the San Jose Sharks. Being eliminated, the worst, Nick Borshevsky's overtime goal by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Try having that as a Red Wings fan living near the city of Toronto. <laughs> that was just torture. So don't say I haven't been through bad times. Winning over 60 games and not winning the cup. Doing all, uh, I don't even want to get into this because now you're getting actual steam coming out of my ears. But I will say this. When you're a kid, you don't know about bandwagonism. You do what your friends do. You do what you want to do and you do the opposite of what your friends do in my case i just think it's it's now it's so easy to follow other teams and players it's so easy the only reason players or fans excuse me followed certain players and teams was because it was easy because it was the only team they got to see now I, you can see actually, whatever you want i actually think there's more virtue to what chris siggins went through as a kid the fact that he adopted the, the ways of his father than, than being someone who just looks at the at the standings and says I choose this team, and then looks at the at the at the point standings and says I choose this player. Who said that? There's more. It, there's a generational thing happening with Chris Higgins. For me, I decided to go in a different direction. But for another guy who watched the Red Wings, you know, make the playoffs every single season, Weiserman, Fedorov. Uh, I'm not sure if you made the tough decision there, Pizzo. That's I want to fight you right now so bad. <laughs> like I want to fight you. <laughs> When I get called a bandwagon jumper, it drives me nuts because it's no, been... no, no, no. I never said you were a bandwagon jumper. You jumped on the bandwagon, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you've jumped to another bandwagon. You've made a jump onto a bandwagon and betrayed betrayed your community. Do you know how hard betrayed the Leafs struggle for community. fans? The, the Leafs yeah. need all the fan support they can get. They're they're almost uh, you know the, the rinks the fact are empty. That they take a back seat to the Argos and the Raptors every single day of their existence. It's an interesting they point. Need you. <laughs> They need you on that wall, sir. But How you dare to go I? And, 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 and cast your lot with the Bob Rouses of the world. Honestly. <laughs> you are so, you're so effing mad. Oh, it's, man. <laughs> I just wish we had, like, Tim Shevelday on here right now to help me out and some other guys, Vincent Riendo and 